All right, let's start another book. Frederick. <clears throat> All along the meadow, where the cows graced and the horses ran, there was an old stone wall. In the wall, not far from the barn, in the granary, a chatty family of field mice had their home. But the farmers have moved away. The barn was abandoned. The granary stood empty. And since winter was not far off, the little mice began to gather corn and nuts and wheat and straw. They worked day and night. All except for Frederick. Frederick, why don't you work, they asked. I do work, said Frederick. I gather sun rays for the cold, dark winter days. Hmm, I'm not sure that counts as work. And when they saw Frederick sitting there, staring at the meadow, they said, And now... I gather colors, answered Frederick simply, for winter is gray. And once Frederick seemed half asleep. Are you dreaming, Frederick? They asked report reproachfully. But Frederick said, Oh no, I am gathering words, for the winter days are long and many and we'll run out of things to say. Hmm. The winter's day came, and, the, and when the first snow fell, the five little field mice took to their hideout in the stones. In the beginning, there was lots to eat, and the mice told stories of foolish foxes and silly cats. They were a happy family. But little by little, they had nibbled up most of the nuts and berries. The straw was gone, and the corn was only a memory. It was cold in the wall, and no one felt like chatting. Then they remember what Frederick had said about the sun rays and colors and words. What about your supplies, Frederick? they asked. Close your eyes, said Frederick, as he climbed on a big stone. Now I send you the rays of sun. Do you feel how they are golden glow? And as they, Frederick spoke of the sun, the four little, mi little mice began to feel warmer. Was it Frederick's voice? Was it magic? And how about colors, Frederick, they asked anxiously. Close your eyes again, Frederick said. And when he told him about the blue periwinkles and the red poppies and the yellow wheat and the green leaves of the berry bush, they saw colors as clearly as if they had painted in their minds. In the words, Frederick, Frederick cleared his throat, waited a moment, and then, as if from stage, he said, Who scatters snowflakes? Who melts the ice? Who spoils the weather? Who makes it nice? Who grows four leaves clovers in June? Who dims the daylight? Who lights the moon? Four little field mice who live in the sky. Four little field mice like you and I. One is a spring mouse who turns on, to sh on the showers. Then comes summer who paints in the flowers. The fall mouse is next with walnuts and wheat. And the winter is last with little cold feet. Aren't we lucky? The lucky aren't we lucky the seasons are four? Think of the year with one less and no more. When Frederick had finished, they all applauded.
A Frederick, they said. You're a poet. Frederick blushed, took a bow, and said shyly, I know it. Hmm. Well, it's important to work, but it's also very important to always be creative and be thinking of your mind and always be prepared for both. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the book. Be good workers and creative minds.